Good morning. We are back on trail, starting the JMT, the last comfort station for a couple <laughs> days. So we are getting set, ready to go. Rain gear is on. We are starting in mid 50s and rainy. Should be rainy all day long. It's a great start. Anyway, so my hiking partner's on this trail. We have Sam, which is Papa Smurf, which I've hiked with before. I have Mike, and I have Ernie, and cute little Amber Rose over here. She's going to join us too today, so which will be good to have her with us as well. So that's today's group, and the guys are stuck with me for a long time. Rivers running down the campground. This is our trail. Here we go. It's rainy, so you probably won't see much of the camera today. We're doing about 13 miles. I'm at the trail end. Here we go. Meadows. That's where we started. We're at like 11.5, I think they said, is our pass. We're going to go down to Chicken Lake and have a little lunch. Um, it kicked my butt. I'm having a hard time catching my breath. But yeah, wind is up here. I'll chill out in just a second. I want to put my jacket on, so I'll keep moving. But yeah, I kicked my butt. Last one up. Whoa, let's stop here for just a second. It's been two years almost since I hiked the JMT. I've had a lot of reflection. This was one of the hardest hikes I've ever done so far. And I'll say that many times, but we just went through a monsoons that wiped out roads. We weren't sure we were going to get to the trail. And after I left the Appalachian Trail, I started having major anxiety. So when I started going down this washed out campground, hardly any trail, a lot of water running through because it was raining that morning, and my anxiety was hitting really bad. Getting to the top of that pass was not fun. My anxiety had hit. I'd been training in the mountains, but I couldn't breathe. And I felt trapped. Like, there, I couldn't turn around. My ride was gone, and there was only forward to go. There was no cell service. There's nothing there for me. All I could do was keep going. And getting to that pass was very difficult. I cried, and I couldn't breathe, and I wondered, what was I doing? Why was I doing this? Let's go on. Sitting at Chicken Spring Lake. We're going to have some lunch here. I'm going to try and eat. Clouds are coming in. We'll be good. We are coming into camp. This is probably like the easiest trail all day. Is this little one right here? I'm excited. It's been a long day. I'm out of shape. The altitude's getting me, but I made it. It's like between 13 and 15 miles. 
there's questions on what it is, but it's all good. Super excited to get in, set up camp, get something to eat and go to sleep and make, take medication for my ankle. So let's do this. Going to do a little recap today. There's some debate on how many miles we went, either it's 13 or 15, but we're camped right next to a creek, which you can hear, which is really, really nice. Got some dinner, tent is set up. I'm back in my palace of my 1P, which I love. Um, tomorrow, we're either going to Crabtree or we're going to Guitar Lake. Crabtree has campsites with a bear box. Guitar Lake, because it's within that Whitney Summit area, you have to have a wag bag. And I go potty in the morning, every morning. So yeah, for those of you who don't know what a wag bag is, it's like a bag you poop into and you have to carry it with you. So if you're doing the narrows top to bottom or camping in, doing backpacking in the Canyonlands Needles area, you have to have a wag bag. Well, in any type of river situation, you should have a wag bag with you. It's not something I really want to do. So, but that's where we may end up. So anyway, my ankle is giving me issues. It's not very happy. It does have the brace on. Um, I was worried I might get some blisters from the brace, but so far so good. I am getting the normal red rubbing spots in my arches from my shoes or my, what is it called? Inserts. I'm not sure what that is. So I'll put some KT tape over that. Um, it just always tends to rub. Uh, my left arm is so much shakier than my right. There we go. Um, so that's it. That's my recap. Um, I'm going to take an Aleve and an Aleve PM tonight to help me sleep and to take down some of the swelling in my ankle. I'm going to elevate it up on my pack as well. And today I had the bear canister on top of my pack and my bear canister is so heavy. My lower back is just killing me because I'm so top heavy and I've never had this issue before with all of my food being on top. My food's always on top. So there's a lot of food I overpacked and there is, yeah, it's just heavy. So I'm gonna try in the morning to pack it with the canister inside on the very bottom, put my sleeping bag around it and my other stuff and see how that goes. So anyway, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>